Got my notes. Wait, 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 go get your notes. I know one by memory. Wait. <laughs> yes. Cat. Cat. <laughs> All right. Welcome to Drug Doctor Who. I'm Hatter. That's Holden and Cat. Seriously, the. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, this week's cereal. Uh, this is, this is our episode nine. This week's cereal was Planet of Giants. Planet of Giants. It is the first serial of the second season of Doctor Who. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Forrester Smithers. You got it. And Cat. <laughs> All right. Um, anyway, so it's a three episode serial, just three episodes. Cat. Yeah, I don't think you can see the cat. Right. <laughs> it's the framing, the, the boxing. All right. Well, it's there. All right. It's three episodes. Uh, they aired from 10-31-1964 to 11-14-1964. During Halloween. Yeah, Halloween. It's spooky. Very um, spooky. <laughs> exactly. And uh, um, the companions, of course, Ethan, Ian, Susan, and Barbara. Ethan. Ethan. Ian, Ian, Susan, Burr, and the antagonists were Forrester and Smithers. <laughs> Wait, oh, wow. What a great hand right uh, Yeah, yeah well, I'm the cat. Nature I think I'm something. significantly more buzzed than you are. Which is the, usually the other way around. Is it? Well, you, you've gotten drunk enough to puke in the Moffat bucket that's, a couple of times. That's because I have such low tolerance. True, true, yeah. true. But usually I get good and wasted. Mm -hmm. And I'm like over here, and you're, you're reasonably sober. <laughs> For some reason today, it's the opposite. Probably because... Um, we only had three episodes. Only three episodes. And I get there way faster. <laughs> true, that's true. Um, I hit my peak, but my peak's much lower than yours, so it's... Yep, yep. He's drinking... Um, vodka Sprite. Vodka Sprite. I was drinking screwdrivers, uh, but I ran out of orange juice. So now I've got the wine. <laughs> mm -hmm. The Paisan wine. Liquor before wine. Liquor before yeah. wine, you'll be fine. You'll be wine fine. before liquor, you'll get sicker. There you go. Right. Well, Dr. Cook. Yeah. So you yeah. put some vodka spray. <laughs> yep. And I just started with the wine. I, bit, I was drinking the screwdrivers earlier. Big old thing of screwdriver. Anyway, um, in this serial, uh, there was only three episodes, but there were supposed to be four so originally. Be, what happened? There, um, and it was a combination of things. I think they decided that some of the stuff wasn't doable, because because the Doctor and his companions come back to Earth in 1964, what was then the, the, the modern day, and note, because of the, uh, this is the second season, there was a break. The last one ends in August, so there's a break until the end of October, so the break between the seasons. August. Yeah, yeah season, we're in season two now. Season two, yep. Yeah. And uh, they come back to modern Earth, but they're, they're a little small, they're about an inch tall. So hence, Planet of Giants is us, we're the giants. It's because the, the, the force of space forced the TARDIS's doors open, which let out mass and they shrunk down or something. Exactly. It, it's <laughs> never happened since. Ooh. I mean, there's a time or two where the TARDIS has gotten small again. And in the third episode, they have a seed and the seed is big because they're small. And they put it in the TARDIS and it gets small it's, and make it big. It but it should the because it's in the TARDIS. Yeah. It's in... The trans dimension, it shouldn't get small, but it does. <laughs> but anyway, so the sets are really cool, especially the drains. Oh stuff. my gosh, I love the sets. Novelty <laughs> sets that made everything so big. The drain was my favorite because uh -huh. it looks so lifelike. Like beforehand, they had all these, you know, foam sculpted, you know, giant worm and, and, and yeah. the billboard giant matchboxes and stuff. and. But but once they go into the sink, it's so metallic looking and porcelain looking. I don't know how they got it so lifelike, but it actually looks like tiny little people in a sink. And it's, it reminds me of that movie. It was shot around the probably the same time frame. It was black and white. This was in the Americas. It was um, the Incredible Shrinking Man. Uh, wait, the Incredible Journey. Is that what it's called? No, there's one incredible journey where they get small and they go into the guy's bloodstream. No, no, no. It's just day. one guy and, and he got journey. some sort of dust on him while he's on a boating trip. And he just kept getting smaller and smaller and then they put him in a dollhouse and the cat 
was there, and the cat tried to eat, eat him, and he ran away. Eventually, he got so small that you know he, you're like the 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 screen on a window. He is like big old bars, and he just stepped over it and just kept shrinking and shrinking. And it had a sad ending because he became just you know subatomic. And in the very end of the movie, he gives this dialogue about how he's destined to get infinitesimally smaller and smaller until he ceases to exist. It's real sad. It's black and white. But they also had seen that. It's really cool. They had. It's kind of. It was shot around the same time frame as uh, the Invisible Man. You know, mm-hmm. he has the wrappings and he gets invisible. Mm-hmm. So really, kind of. I think it might have even been the same director. It's very similar. Black yeah, and white. Well, that's one of those Hammer films. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I love so, that. so it had beautiful sets too, and where oh, yeah, he's yeah, just yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. And he faces. He has this needle as a sword, and he faces off against the spider, and he impales the spider with the needle. It's beautiful. Okay. Great oh, yeah. Paul didn't want you to wear your hat that way. Yeah, I don't, don't know. But you know, forget you, Paul. I don't, <laughs> know. I don't know. Maybe it's a gang thing. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Maybe it just looks dorky. That's just my generation. It you looks just, oh, awesome right. because that's how snapbacks are designed to wear. It's not, you know, functionality. Who cares? There's no sun in this what room. What the heck is a snapback? This is a snapback. Flat build. Snap. It's flat, a cap. Flat bill. Flat bill. A cap has a curved bill to block the sun. A, a snapback has a flat bill, so you wear it backwards for style. All right, that, that way, that when you're walking silly. away from people, they see how cool you are with the hat in the back. Yeah, okay, that sounds silly. All right, <laughs> this is my generation. <laughs> All right. anyway, um, so they get really small, and uh, there's this bad guy, um, Forrester. And uh, another bad guy, Smithers. So, and the really, really bad one is Forrester. Smithers yeah. at least has good intentions, but the, well, he he wants to save the planet from he starvation. He does, but he's misguided. And when he figures out that it'll kill everything, he tries to stop Smithers, and yeah. that's why Smithers tries to kill him. Too little, too late, though. He's an accomplice to this murder. He okay, okay, I, He's trying to think about the greater good, but he's misguided. And he's I agree with you to a point, but he's simply trying to save the planet from salvation. He's yeah. trying to save thousands of lives, millions of lives. His entire impetus for doing everything he's done was to try and save people from starvation. Mm-hmm. And if one person dies, he's okay with that to save thousands or millions. That just shouldn't be okay. I yeah, agree, I agree. But as soon as he figures out how bad the stuff is, the DN nine or whatever, see what is it? DN DN six. Four six six DN six. <laughs> as soon as he, and maybe DN deoxy nibo. I don't know. It, it's just an abbreviation. Yeah. But as soon as he figures out how bad it is for the environment and how it kills everything, he's against it, and that's why Smithers was trying to kill him. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, at the very end, trying to kill him. Yeah, he, he checks his gun. Right. What do you call it? Saturday Night Special. Saturday Night Special. A little, little teeny yeah, tiny yeah. one shot. Just put it in your, your cleavage. Right. And then put in the cleavage. Maybe put it in their boots. <laughs> in their boots. Um, or their pockets. Single or, shot. It's kind of like the uh-huh. barrel shotgun, and you put the bullet. Right, in but it is a single shot. Yeah. Little teeny tiny. My tiny. favorite's the Derringer. Like you know, in the old Western films, they have the contraption that it, it launches out of their sleeve. You know, the little Derringer, yeah. Derringer pistols. I don't know. Give me, give me a, a proper six shooter. <laughs> anyway, um, but so the Doctor and the Avengers are really small, and they see all the dead animal, well, the dead insects and everything, and they realize something's wrong, and it's up to them to fix it, and they do that by using the telephone. To call the policeman. Well, they attempt to use the telephone. It doesn't right, really right. work out so well. Well, yeah, it does because the policeman does show up. Yeah, but that's because the 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 nosy operator. The operator is suspicious. <laughs> She's like, they sound just alike. You know, Forrester and 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 uh, Pharaoh sound just alike because Pharaoh, it's Pharaoh. it's really it's both Forrester and Forrester's pretending to be Pharaoh when he, he puts murdered the handkerchief. Pharaoh. Yeah, Pharaoh's mm-hmm. dead, so he puts the handkerchief over the. The microphone and the phone, and he's trying to pretend to be Pharaoh and muffle it, but but the and he gets the away with it for the guys at the other end, but yeah, not for her because yeah, she knows Pharaoh better. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it really is way uh, older in time when they had receptionists. You know, that's yeah, not operators. They, operators. <laughs> when they did plug in the deals <laughs> and the phones, uh, the connecting. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, yeah there, there was going to be four episodes, and I think because the sets were so difficult to make because they were so huge compared yeah. to the compared to the actors that 
that and possibly trimming out stuff that did you know because if you notice it kind of ends abruptly for the big people yeah um Cop story. story yeah it, kinda, it just it ends really That's abruptly uh they they fix Barbara pretty abruptly when she could have been a lot worse. And I, I yeah. think they trimmed out She just that. got bigger and then all of a sudden she was better. <laughs> right. Well, the doctor does explain that. Although he's wrong in the way that should work. But well, it's, the, it's yeah, science yeah. fiction. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so... Um, same thing it's with the seed. Of, yeah, the exact same thing with the seed. Yeah, you science. suspend disbelief. Um, but anyway, so... And this is probably... Well, hey, it's a cool cereal. The uh, the concept is cool, but it's not a great cereal. <laughs> but, I, I loved it. I loved it. That's so excellent. Cool. It's really it. neat. It was such a novelty. Well, well, you'll love the rest of the the season. Um, and I mean, it's it's a great concept, but it doesn't work as well as some of the others. But they trimmed out a lot of the stuff because it wouldn't work, and they cut it down to the three episodes instead of four. But big finish audio. Mm-hmm. did a complete version based on the original scripts oh. where they flesh out the whole thing into the all four episodes. Oh, cool. We yeah. should have watched that. Well, it's not watch, it's audio. It's audio, just, we should have listened to Yeah, that. Big Finish Audio <laughs> is like uh, radio plays. Because we only had three episodes. Mm. That yeah. would have been a cool thing to tack on. I don't have any of the audio. Uh, I don't have any Big Finish Can you YouTube it or something? Probably not. Uh, Probably not. Probably not. I don't have any. Sponsor. Yeah, I don't have any of that stuff. Um, I, I stick with the TV show. The, the I, canon. Right, what I consider canon. I don't have to. I don't want to have to deal with the comic books and the regular books and the the audios and have to deal with all of that to be canon and, and try to remember all that. It's just it's nuts. It's too much. Too much. So I just stick with the show. Just the canon. Yeah. Um, now, what did you think of uh, Barbara touching the the insecticide? Mm-hmm. And not wait, wait, okay, okay. So the bad guy. <laughs> no, we didn't explain the plot. The bad guys. The whole reason the one guy killed the other guy, uh, that Forrester killed Pharaoh, mm-hmm. was because they were making this insecticide, mm-hmm. and Pharaoh figured out that the insecticide would kill everything, yeah, not so just not just locusts and flies, it's but not gonna get approved by the. Right, right, yeah, but worms and ants and yeah. bees and everything that the ecology needs to survive. We called it worse than radiation. Um, Smithers did. Smithers did. Smithers did. Yeah. Worse than radiation, it kills everything it comes in contact with. Right, so they, uh, so Pharaoh, Pharaoh decides he can't approve it, can't approve so it. Smithers kills him. Yes, he did. And uh, the reason Smithers does that is he's just driven by money. He's a businessman. He's a greedy hon, yeah. Yeah, he just cuts down everyone in his way because he invested all his money in this one product that he wants to sell, be really successful, mm. and if they, you know, don't allow it, he's just going to lose all he's his money. Bankrupt. He's bankrupt. Well, now he's going to jail. So he shoots. Yeah. Shit's Pharaoh is gonna give him with the with the certain show. This is a kid show, so you know murder. Yeah, yeah. You know death count is just one death in this. Last week we talked for about human. for human, yeah. We, we talked, yeah. We had insects this time, <laughs> but but last week we talked a lot about death count. Well, yeah, the reign of terror. The reign of terror had <laughs> the most death counts of all time, and we talked about mm-hmm. how death is important in the show because it, it gives depths and and consequence to every episode. And, Right, right. If someone, if a companion especially, but if anyone can die, yeah. then you actually need to fear for them. You mm-hmm. actually know that they're in peril. Yeah. Yeah, if, if death is not possible, there's no peril, there's no drama. Mm-hmm. There's, there's consequences to each episode. You lose characters, and sometimes that's presented in a way that you gain a new person, and they develop throughout the serial, and they die at the end. Like uh, with the planet, the sense, the sense sensorites, the sensorites, the the, the sense sphere, the sensorites. You know, <laughs> that guy died later on. We also had, you know, uh, not the Aztecs. We had the bad guy that died at the Keys of Marinus. Uh, you mm. had the one guy that was jumping yeah. across the the ledge and he fell. You know, he's been a character that, that grew over a couple of episodes during the serial, and he died. And it it, it presents consequence but in, in the other half of it you also want to present uh, consequences just you know right off the bat painting a character as a bad guy and that's what happened in this serial 
was you had Forrester right away, first episode, shot bad guy, Pharaoh, uh, Pharaoh, Pharaoh, <laughs> right away, just painting him as the bad guy. They wanted to make that clear. First episode, they killed the guy. Well, it was only three episodes, so yeah, um, only three episodes. It's supposed to be four, only three. Yeah, they had to get, they had to jump right into right, it. Right, right. So the third episode feels a bit. It was pretty through. graphic. They picked him up off the ground. I don't know if that's supposed kind of to be dragon, blood or yeah. dirt. No, no, that was just dirt. Cause he dirt. Yeah, dirt, yeah. yeah. it's pretty. It's pretty graphic. <laughs> In black and white, it was slightly harder to tell. Yeah. Speaking of which, the movie Psycho, you know, to save money, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they had colored movies back then, but they, they he chose, the director self-funded the movies, he chose to Alfred film it. Alfred Hitchcock? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. He chose to film it in black and white to save money, and instead of, you know, the, the, the colored blood, he, he just used chocolate syrup mm-hmm. in the shower scene to be blood. <laughs> okay, well, there's also something for, to be said for black and white movies as a mood thing mm-hmm. you know if you want so, to set it way in the past creepy. putting it in black and white is great like the artist mm-hmm. if you want to make it creepy like psycho black and white is good um if you want to do it cheaply like clerks black and white is good um and black and white has other advantages like you you can you can do a depth really well and have everything in focus where it's in color a lot of times, if you focus on one thing, other parts of are out of focus, mm-hmm. and I hate that. Yeah, I, it's you know a what dying I, media. Black and white is that no one's doing it. Yeah, you know what I hate even more is when an anime in uh, <laughs> in um, <laughs> what are you doing? All right, all right, all right. In in animation, <laughs> with an animation, yeah, they animation. they. They do the same stupid thing where in animation everything and every depth can be perfectly in focus, but they they mimic the out of focus with yeah, the uh, color oh, camera. It's like why why would you do that? You don't have to. It's so it's one of the reasons to do it in animation. But I I feel like it's to to move your focus. It's like this is what you. No, but it, but it takes me. It to. breaks the fourth wall for me. Mm. There are certain things that break the fourth wall for me. Um, Sometimes they need to draw your focus to a certain point. Yeah, I don't care. And they, would, they don't want to do the close-ups. I mean, so it's, like, it's like in movies, unless they're going to spill something, the cups never have anything in them. And they're carrying the cups, but there's never any weight There's no to weight, them. and they sit right. at it. It's right. the same one. And that breaks it for me. That breaks the fourth wall. Because yeah, what they I pick hate, things up, and I know there's no weight in it. What know? I hate, same concept, except it's with the keyboard typing. Mm-hmm. You know they're not typing anything, and they're just doing this on the keyboards, and it doesn't make any sense. Okay. They're just pretending to type, but obviously they're so bad at pretending that it's just, <laughs> it looks crazy. You can't. For me, it's the cups, because it's in every stinking movie they've got the cups. Um, I hate the TV shows with the pretending to type on the keyboard. It's like... <laughs> what I love is when they have somebody like in a movie, when they do it all real. Yeah. Like when they actually properly put liquid in the cups and so there's, there's a weight to it like this as opposed to the not weight. And and like when they're actually typing or they when they're actually the coffee and... when they're actually playing the piano. Yeah. You yeah. know? As opposed to pretending to play the piano. See, what I hate is is when they're pretending to type on the keyboards, it'd be so easy to just actually type something out as Even an actor. If you're slow. Just, yeah. Method actor <laughs> acting just just actually type something out when you're pretending. To be fair, not everyone can type. It's so but, but the same thing, not everyone can play the piano, but, <laughs> but when they get someone who can do it, like uh, Chevy Chase, mm-hmm. he's an actor, he was classically trained as a pianist. Mm-hmm. Classically trained. So when he's in a movie playing the piano or a TV show, um, like uh, Community, he, mm-hmm. he was in the TV show Community, he's actually playing the piano. It's actually him. Mm-hmm. and and. It, it, it's so much more real. It's yeah. so much more, you know, proper. It doesn't it's, break the fourth wall. It's really because they can have those continuous shots that go from the face to the hands, but the right, way that other movies cut. do it, yeah, yeah, they cut it, they use, they show the face, they cut it to the hands, which is the hand double. Yeah, actually playing the piano, they mm-hmm. cut to the wide shot, cut to the face. Cut oh, the it's one of the reasons I love the Marx Brothers. They play uh, those instruments. Harpo could long play shots. the harp. Harpo could play the piano. Chico could play the piano. They were amazing. Amazing. Yeah, seriously, just amazing. Um, let's see. All right. Anyway, uh, <laughs> they uh, 
So they figured out a way to get the police there by calling on the telephone after they figured out that the formula would kill everyone and everything mm -hmm. based on what they saw. And so the police come and arrest the bad guy. And it's like I said, it's kind of truncated because it was supposed to be a fourth episode, but there wasn't. Very abrupt ending. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but it, because of budget constraints. Thankfully or, to the, the operator. Yeah. Thankfully to the operator, right. She, she was a nosy Nelly, but she it was a good thing in this All case. Right. I don't know, I guess they were, Jerry, yeah, well, Green Acres, we were singing that earlier. <laughs> yeah, we were, we were singing Green Acres. But they, they had an operator they in there, and she was a nosy <laughs> Nelly. But, um, oh, no. Oh. <laughs> mm. oh, I do like that one. Anyway, so... They eventually get the police there, and the police arrest them, and everything ends, and it hits over pretty quickly. And Barbara, who had touched the insecticide, and... Oh, yeah, I was asking that question earlier. What did you think about Barbara touching the insecticide, but not telling anyone out of some sort of pride or something? Yeah. And she got really sick. Yeah, that too. And it also shows her pride when they're talking about the telephone and... and, and uh Susan argues with Barbara the, the best way to do the thing, and then she's like, all right, all right. And then <laughs> you, you mentioned something about her, her pridefulness, and, right. and she didn't want to admit to anything, and she's just, you know, you, she tries to use the handkerchief to wipe it off. And she's right, like, and then she them tells them. no one, yeah. It is, it's, again, it's, it's just several episodes in the serial just going to, to develop someone's character. Right. So you get a better understanding of... Of who Barbara is. Right, and that's one of the beautiful things about Doctor Who is mm -hmm. as characters stay for 60, 80 episodes mm -hmm. at a time, you get to flesh them out. Um, as opposed to uh, the modern Doctor Who, when sometimes you only get companions for 12 or 13 episodes. Uh, like, um, uh, like uh, Bill... Bill, it, Bill's a girl. I'll explain it later. <laughs> um, or uh, is she the redhead? No, 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 no. The redhead is. Um... <laughs> oh my gosh, I blanked on her name. Well, she Amelia, just... Amelia uh, Williams is I the redhead. I haven't seen any episodes. Start just saw an image, mm -hmm. like a promotional image. She's real pretty. Oh, she is. She's. Uh, she has kind of broken into Hollywood. She was in cool. Oculus, oh. and. You know Guardians of the Galaxy? Yes. The sister? The, uh huh. That's her. Oh, no way. With no hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's got that whole thing on. Yeah, the she's, blue makeup. The right, hair. right, right. That's her, which is freaky. I but, don't know. Um, good for her. She, well, yeah, she's kind of broken into things, which is good. Um, Tenet kind of broke into Hollywood with uh, um, Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah, I know Tenet. He was in Harry Potter. And uh, most of. The doctors did not really ever get to Hollywood. Most of the companions did not. Um, there were some exceptions. The second doctor, um, Troughton, was in The Omen. The Omen? Yeah, The Omen. And that, that was a big thing. That. that was a big thing. Um, back in the day. Uh, sort of a big movie. Not quite as good or as big as The Exorcist, but it was in that vein. Rosemary's horror Baby. Genre. Yeah, that horror genre. Um, but anyway, so, uh, like, uh, Donna. Donna, you only get her for maybe 13, 14, 15 episodes. Mm -hmm. Bill, um... Ooh, what's his name? What's his name? Oh, and there are some companions you only get for just a few. Um, just, just a few episodes. So they have no time to develop. Well, I know, and it's sad. It really is. Um, and speaking of companions, uh, you, you know the Doctor never truly dies, because he always regenerates. Right. But there are times when companions die. There are times when companions actually die. And uh, we haven't seen any of that. We haven't seen any of the original companions leave at all. But but pretty I just, soon... I don't want them to. You don't want them to. <laughs> um, I, speaking of companions, Ian, he's, a, he's my favorite companion. Ian, he's like such him. a man, man's man. Take charge, sharply dressed. He came out in the cereal in this mm -hmm. nice suit. And he's just... yeah. The doctor still had on his outfit from Rainy Yeah, 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 which is cool. He loves his cape. He, he loves it. And he, he, he came he in handy. Like yeah, that he came in. Yeah. But uh, yeah, um, Ian is sharply dressed in this. It puts that suit on. Pardon me, pardon me. Nice. But, um, but anyway, yeah, uh, pretty soon we're going to get to the part where companions start leaving. 
and then new companions take their place, mm -hmm. and um, and it's just inevitable because the show's been on fifty four years. You yeah, know, you can't have you can't have the same people. Right, as right. the doctor regenerates, you have to say goodbye to the companions, and and, and even that doctor. But and it has you know again depth to and consequence because you have you know like we talked about the depth the death count per serial adds consequence <laughs> to the to the show as a whole you also have um you know the companions add consequence and depth to the show because the last episode and the reign of terror they thought mm -hmm. they're home they thought they're saying goodbye the doctor he's like you know farewell because he <laughs> he was then, still pissed off yeah he one was, before he's, that. he's just like get out yeah. and then susan was just heartbreaking about Heartbroken. Centurites. He was pissed off about the centurites. Yeah, yeah. And so going into the Reign of Terror, he's just like, get out of here. And Susan was just heartbroken about saying goodbye because this is her math and history teacher. And she gives him a big hug. And it just it just adds emotional depth. You're like, oh, is this really goodbye? Are they gone? Are they back to home? Exactly. And, and nope, oh, they threw in a curveball. You know, it's actually the Reign of Terror, wrong and time frame. And then, Susan's the first companion to say goodbye. Huh? Not Barbara Spoiler. and Ian. Yeah, Spoiler. Spoiler. Well, uh, hey. Okay. But she is. Um, and I told you about that. Because they wanted her to be more... Uh, she wanted to be more like... Yeah, come uh, to our The Avengers. Yeah. She, wanted to, she wanted her character to be more than just the, the, the little girl who got in trouble all the time. Yeah, yeah. And, and who got in peril all the time. And except for the sensorites, when she's got that extra yeah. separate she's perception. She's right. She's a big main... Right, Part except for that, that, most of the time that's what she does. That's mm -hmm. her role. Yeah, so, screaming so and calling for help. Kind of. Exactly. Damsel in dis distress. Yes, exactly. Damsel in yeah. distress. So she leaves first. Um, let's see. And uh, next week we have the Dalek invasion of Earth, which. I thought uh, World's End. World's End. Well, that's the first episode. Remember, we're still in the Next part. episode, World's End. That's all yeah. I have done. <laughs> We're still in the part where the episodes have different titles. Different titles. And eventually, eventually they go into naming each serial and then they, right, they stop the individual episodes. Right. Uh, it happens right here with the savages. Mm. Um, they stop naming every episode and they only name the serial and it's just the savages episode one, savages episode two, etc. etc. Do you um, do you prefer that or did you like it back when they named each individual episode? Oh, well, I mean, this is 1966 for the Savages. I feel like it's helpful just to remember the serials by one episode name rather than memorizing each okay, individual okay. episode's title. Agreed. Although um, most serials just go by their first episode's title anyway. Well, for that stuff, yeah, but not not all of them. Like Celestial Toy Maker, the the first episode, of Celestial Toy Room, then Hall of Dolls, etc. Okay. They don't. Even the whole serial does not necessarily go by a particular episode title. Like Galaxy 4 is the name of the serial, mm. but none of the episodes are named Galaxy 4. Um, it's, it's all just a little weird, but mm -hmm. it's simpler when you have this many episodes, 840 something, yeah. to keep track of, uh, to just block them into serials of which there are only a couple hundred. It, it, makes it, it does make it easier. Mm -hmm. um, now, this season, season two, uh, there's only two missing episodes currently. The, the Reconstructions? Yeah, the Reconstructions. Uh, and that happens during the Crusade, the 14th serial. So we're currently on nine. Next week we'll do ten. Is uh, that just the first Doctor that we have Reconstructions first for? First and second. First and second. First and second. Go through Reconstruction. Right. And the, missing episodes. the third Doctor also had serials jumped. Mm. But they were all found. Oh, good deal. Some of them were only found in black and white, but they were recolorized. Oh, Because there was a thing where you use the film, and even on the film, there were little markers as to what the colors were, even in black and white. Mm -hmm. um, they did that with I Love Lucy. They went back and they colorized it. Oh, but it wasn't filmed in color. You should, if it was, all right, if it was originally in color, it should be restored to color if it's not if it's missing. Yeah. But if it was filmed in black and white, generally speaking, you shouldn't colorize it because because of the chocolate syrup. <laughs> yeah, well, not only like that. Yeah, <laughs> not only like that, but it wasn't the director's vision. Yeah, the director's vision was not like what you had in the screen, right? Yeah. 
So when they go back and they colorize things like, um, um, I'm trying to think of a classic, a black and white film that they colorized. I just remember seeing Lucy in color for the first time and go, oh, she's blonde. I always thought she's redheaded or something. Just because it's kind of like reading a book, you know, you're presented the words and you just kind of, mm. your imagination sort of colorizes things and brings Ooh. it into the picture. I did the same thing with, you know, black and white television. I'm like, mm -hmm. well, Lucy's probably, I love Lucy and Lucy and I love Lucy. She's probably Lucille Ball. Yeah. Lucille Ball. But yeah. no, she's a, she's a blonde. It's like, oh, cool. You get to see her in color for the first time. I never knew that. Because yeah. I was imagine you know, what the color of things were. I don't know. I think by that point her hair was dyed anyway. Yeah, who knows? She was like forty something in those shows. Mm -hmm. um, she was older, and then she went on to, to film the Lucy show. Yeah, and then she did it's some tragically because because she split with uh, Ricky Ricardo, Desi Arnaz. Yeah, yeah, and they split, and then later they brought in Carol Burnett and the Lucy the Lucy show. And Carol Burnett was she still is? Fantastic. She's really funny. Well, wait, I think she's dead. I don't know. But, but, but Lucy, wait, Desi Ar Ball. Right, but Desi Arnaz was a genius. Yeah. Um, she, wanted, okay. she did a lot of comedic stuff. Originally, they, they, they did those shows with one camera, like like we have here. Mm -hmm. But Desi Arnaz so pioneered the three camera. On multi. Right, through the three camera thing. With I feel like we should do that with our podcast. We should have wide shot, close up on you, close up on you. Okay, okay, what part of no editing do you not understand? We'll have, that's how you build viewer oh. base. We'll have animated intro, animated outro, multi-point. We'll expand upon our podcast set with the green screen. And it'll be yeah, but, but, but half the fun of this is... Yeah, is that it's no editing. It's absolutely. one take. We just For do the it first couple of it. seasons. Wait a minute, wait a minute. But wait, then wait. we'll build upon our what we have, and that's how we gain a viewer base. We'll, we'll monetize it. I don't, want, wait, 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 wait. I don't necessarily want to gain a viewer base. <laughs> if people want to watch this, great. But we're doing this for us. We're doing this so we can watch Doctor Who and drink alcohol it's, and it's, have fun. And it's talk. Be, the point is to have fun. Yeah, and have but fun. Part of having fun is, is improving upon what you have. That's what well, yes and no. I mean, for a business, yes. I think for for a life, yes. Yes. For for something silly, stupid hobby, not necessarily. It'll improve over time. Well, yeah, I don't. I don't want any editing. <laughs> I really don't want any editing. And I have I have several um, TV or not TV uh, YouTube. What they call podcasts, shows, yes. whatever that I really YouTube. like. I didn't know that. Oh, oh, that you like? I thought you meant through your end. No, 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 no. Several that, that like. you like. Yeah, yeah. Like um, red uh, red letter media's. Half in the bag. Mm -hmm. Love half in the bag. That's the one of the reasons I want to do this. And um, what's the other one? I'm gonna write these down. Half in the bag. Half in the bag. Wait, wait. Grab a regular pin. That's a sharpie. I left mine in the. <laughs> <laughs> you know I have more of it. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, half in the bag. And uh, nostalgia critic. I love both. I know those. him. Yeah, I know him. Love both of those. Now, those are heavily edited. They are very professionally done. They are, they have, you know, intros and, and outros and stuff, and they, they're really good, but I don't know, I wanted this to be more... There it is. <laughs> oh my gosh, you are really I knew good. I didn't I'm so, You're not driving at all, so I'm so no, glad I'm not driving. No, absolutely not. And I'm so glad I live here. Um, anyway, so... <laughs> I'll do that when I'm sober. Wow. To be fair, to but, be fair, I'd forget that it's there when I'm sober. Yeah, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. But but anyway, but and and that's their product and it's great and I love yeah. that. But I don't, we don't want, we don't, we're not looking to make a whole lot of money on this. We're not looking to make any money. If we ever monetize this, it's to pay for the alcohol. It's to pay for the alcohol, exactly. But we're 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 not trying to get rich. We're we're not even trying to make any money. But because you got you need like a thousand view uh, subscribers, you need all sorts of stuff. But if for some reason we eventually, oddly enough, go viral, we're just gonna use it to pay for the alcohol. <laughs> what? You stop doing that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'll put it back. Let me get those. Patches that you know what they had those arm sleeve covers. 
We can just throw okay. one of those on. Okay, now I remember in the 70s and the 80s they used to have a... My mother still has those. She has the pleather couch Yeah, where she puts... She puts the patches on it. No, no, she puts the arm sleeve on it. Well, not arm sleeve. She's the cover. I know what you're talking about, though. Yeah, the yeah. square patches. Little patches, you know. You, yeah, you, are you iron on? Yeah, or what same you? on your overalls. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Um, <laughs> But they, uh, I got this from, I got these couches from a guy who had a chihuahua, and apparently the chihuahua would, you know, occasionally rip into things. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, all right, I don't want to buy a new couch. <laughs> we won't. All right, but uh, we'll spend that money on. Five. Yeah, baby. <laughs> exactly. The couch will get horrible. We'll spend it on vodka <laughs> and wine, uh, and Screw. occasionally rum or. Oh my gosh. Our podcast will get uh, periodically more and more degraded and eventually we'll just be in the alleyway. Because so <laughs> we'll spend all our money on alcohol. <laughs> oh, I can see one where we do absinthe. And, oh, uh, we're like, we should do that. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's going to be awesome. Every bad drunk I've ever seen up. has been on either tequila, tequila or absinthe. And man, I can't stand tequila, but absinthe is good, but it will hit you like a ton of bricks. Bam! My wife will hate it. She, she does not like absinthe. <laughs> I've ruined many a romantic night. <laughs> or at least several romantic night. It, 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 it's, it, there's something to be said for it, but like I said, it'll hit you like a pan galactic gargle blaster. I don't even know how to spell absinthe. So A B S I N T H E. Boom. Is that right? No, that's an I there and an E at the end. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm, it's perfect. So if you're talking about Red Letter Media's Half in the Bag and Nostalgic yeah. Critics podcast, that's enjoyable for you to watch because they put a lot of effort and editing right, into that. Right, right. How, how fulfilling would that feel if that was your podcast for someone else that they really enjoyed watching because we put effort in? And I'm not saying now, even this year or the next year, but maybe the year after, we'll add something like animated intros and outros, and that way you can put a link to the previous week's episode, and we'll slowly build upon it until it becomes this awesome thing. Yeah, I like this. I like it too. I like the rudimentary, organic, non... It's um, just for fun. Yeah, 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 just for fun. It's, it's more genuine. Mm-hmm. We don't have a script. We don't no, we, no. obviously because we're getting stupidly off topic here. <laughs> we don't have a script. We don't have editing. We don't. We don't rehearse it. We it's, don't do anything. We just. We just talk. We just that's, film it. That's good for weeks like these, like these, to get off topic because we only have three episodes to talk about. Oh my gosh! Yeah, this would have been a ten-minute uh, episode <laughs> otherwise. We didn't talk about. Oh my gosh! But seriously, um, now next week uh, is the Daleks invasion. Six of Earth. episodes. Six episodes. The end of the world episode. Well, that's the first thing. For the episode. next episode. But it, that'll be a longer one because a lot more happens. We'll get way more drunk. Yeah, and um, we will. Yeah, because I'm, I'm, I'm a little tipsy, but I'm not here. Um, no, no to keep. Now, Margaritas. the week after, the, or not the week after that, because I go on vacation. But one Just week, the next week, and then the week after that is vacation, and the week right, after right. that is vacation. And the week after that may be recovery. And then, well, yeah, um, my birthday's on the 16th. And this, so, so September parties, 17th, we may or may not do this, because I may be too uh, uh, wasted on the 16th. I like the fact that we've been so weekly up until now, because even we, when I missed... Except that one that you missed. Yeah. The one we missed, but the previous two, you know, the intro, you did the introduction to Doctor Who, and then I missed one week, and you did the Companions Part 1. But there's one week you missed that and I didn't do a video. video. That's the one week we missed. Right. 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 Well, it's because I've got on that board, I would have finished off the Companion history, mm-hmm. but those are my wife's shifts that she has to get uh, covered so we can go on vacation. You can't take a picture. Well, I, I guess I could have, but I didn't want to wipe all that off, <laughs> do the video, and then have to put that all back on there. So I just didn't do a video. Just that that do. Right, I didn't do a video. <laughs> but but, but for, for September, maybe we'll do some pre-recorded. I don't know. Never mind. Well, the problem, problem is, is <laughs> yeah, the problem, won't. the problem is, is you can't time them to go up at a certain time. That plus... I mean, it up a little bit. I guess I, I guess you could. I guess you could upload them and, and, and so well, 
Like I said, it's not like we have a viewership that's waiting on this we stuff. Will. Consistency builds community. To a certain point, that is, that is a valid <laughs> point. But once again, things do have to be taken into account for mm-hmm. life. And this life. isn't a business, this is just for a silly, silly fun. thing we do once a week. For fun. For fun, yeah. For fun. Um, but yeah, uh, when we watch The Rescue, the week, uh, once I get back, after Dalek Invasion of Earth, it's only two episodes. So, the last time we had a two-episode serial, we watched uh, one, of the, one of the movies, which was no, Doctor Who and the Dalek. Huh? We didn't do that. We didn't do that? No. The only thing we did was when we had the two-episode, we also watched the refilming of the first episode. Oh, yeah. We, we haven't watched a movie yet. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> crap. We should have done that tonight, then. <laughs> Okay, seriously, that would have been a good time to do that tonight. <laughs> we I can forgot still go about watch that. that. I <laughs> forgot about we can, that. We can pause, go watch it, and come back. We can't pause, <laughs> it'd be a different video. Um, <laughs> oh, <Why> crap. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Okay. Hmm. I'll figure this out. <laughs> you figure that I'll out. Figure out. Go you go to the rest of the Okay. Woo! We okay. I forgot about that. I forgot we watched the uh, the original pilot. Hmm. We do need to watch the movies. We should have watched the movie tonight. We can still do that, although it won't be part of this video. We end up talking about next week, or later, or we'll just add it to the crusade. Because hmm. Man, there's no short serials in the future. There are at least four episodes. I have no clue when we would do that. Huh, okay. So, when we watch the Rescue, the two episode 11th serial, The Rescue, we'll watch the first, uh, the first TV movie, uh, Doctor Who and the Daleks, starring Peter Cushing of Star Wars fame. And then, when we do Mission to the Unknown, all right. I was just telling uh, the camera, the audience, when we watch The Rescue, we will do um, Dalek Invasion of Earth. Or, um, Doctor Who and the Daleks. Doctor Who and the Daleks. Which is a the re- movie. The movie. But it has Peter Cushing as Doctor Who. Not the Doctor, just Doctor Who. And then when we watch Mission to the Unknown, and that one is basically a rehash of the original Daleks. Okay? And then... Uh, adult too. And then when we watch Mi- um, Mission to the Unknown, which is only one episode, we'll watch The Invasion, Dog's Invasion of Earth, mm-hmm. which is a rehash of Dog's Invasion of Earth, which is next week's serial. <laughs> which I'm kind of glad we didn't watch the other one first, because then we would be watching that two weeks in a row. Yeah. 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 And so, in case you're wondering about our schedule. <laughs> the, the only weird thing is, is I'm not exactly sure when we'll get to watch. Um, uh, the... We'll fit it in there. Alright, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll watch, um... Adventures in Time and Space, which is a TV movie TV. about the first Doctor. Mm-hmm. And it goes through all the stuff that happened with these shows. So, the, the first Doctor is before the Doctor we're on now? Or is it the... No, this is the first Doctor. This is the first but it's doctor. a TV movie about the production of the show. Right. So, so like a, what do you call that? Documentary? Well, Documentary. Not exactly. well, no, no, biopic. It's more of a biopic. biopic. Yeah, yeah, it's more of a biopic. Good um, deal. And it's really good. It, it's, and some of the companions, like, like, like Susan, mm-hmm. she's still alive and she has yeah. a cameo in that. 
I'm excited. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's cool. Exciting. All right. Um, did, you, okay, did you have any other questions or anything? Um, we're talking about the doctor, and in this serial, he's he he gets pretty roughed up, and he's out of breath as he's climbing, and he's the drain he's, pipe. The drain pipe. Yeah. And he, he's running around. It gets real dirty. And you said, you know, the doctor at this point uh, historically is supposed to be over a hundred years old. Yeah, he's like a couple that. hundred years. Yeah, old. a couple hundred years. He he, he references that. And, I wanted to talk about the the lifespan of the doctor and the life cycle of the doctor because he reincarnates, regenerates, uh, regenerates every so often. Yeah. So was, what was that all about? Well, uh, have, we've covered that before on this. Have, have we? I don't. I don't know. I was drunk most of the time. Drunk. I I'm not that bad today, but most of the time I'm much drunker. Um, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah but no, don't when remember. the doctor gets so old that he's wearing thin and he's going to die mm-hmm. or you know it's just old people pass away from old age or if he's killed something would kill him generally speaking he regenerates mm. um time lords get 12 regenerations 12 and uh, it and that means there'll be 13 doctors um now we're about to hit the 13th doctor in well, Whitaker the doctor uh Okay, but spoilers, um, she's not the end of his regeneration set. So we go beyond the... Right, we're already beyond the regeneration limit. limit. Um, It is possible for a Time Lord to be given a new set of regenerations by the Time Lord Council. That comes up later on. Um, And in fact, the Master, who is one of the Doctor's biggest... Arch enemies, who you haven't met yet. Mm-hmm. We will meet him with the third doctor. Um, the gentleman's doctor, right there. What's he look like? The one with the white hair. <laughs> no, that's, that's Tom Baker. The one above yeah. Tom Baker. This guy. Yes. No. <laughs> that's the first doctor. That's the one we're watching that's now. The one. Yeah. Him. Third doctor. All right, all right. Is that Bert a, Wee? His name is Can you Bert see Wee. that on the camera? Uh, I think they're, I think they're the just in camera, yeah. Just the staff? Uh, I think so. When, when we bring it in to, to capture us more, it can it cuts off Do a little you, further you bring it here. In? Well, yeah, I brought it in because it was too far back and uh, people wanted to see us more. Well, I think so Paul, pretty. Paul wanted to see us more. Because we're so pretty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you maybe, not so much me anymore. You're welcome, Paul. <laughs> He's young, he's handsome, I'm old and I'm not <laughs> distinguished, maybe that's a like best I can Like fine wine. I age like fine milk, okay? <laughs> age like... Anyway, but yeah, um, with his doctor we get the master, and the master the is... The like, grand antagonist. He, like, like Moriarty to Sherlock. He was designed to be <laughs> the great antagonist. That reminds me of the plot to the Halo games, where you have Cortana as the AI, and traditionally, the AI's lifespan is like seven years, and beyond that, they go into psychotics. And then, sort of at Halo Four, it goes into uh, Cortana's de- degradation of, of mental capability. degradation, degradation, okay. where she goes kind of psychotic. She's kind of losing her mind at the end of Halo Four. It's real sad. Okay. I and know nothing of Halo. It's, it's a real cool video game series. High really altitude, used to. low orbit. I think I don't know. I think it means high altitude, low orbit. No, that doesn't stand for it. The halo is the halo ring. Or something. No, it's the halo ring. Because the ring is like this planet, the circular planet, but it's called the halo because it looks like a halo. Okay, so not a halo jump. Okay. Alright. I do have ODST, which is Orbital, orbital Drop Shock Troopers. Okay, well then that, that brings halo right into play, the, the high altitude, low orbit, because it's a jump thing. Yeah. They but, jump from but altitude. But H-A-L-O doesn't stand for anything. It just means actual halo, because the halo planet is just a circular planet ring. Okay, I don't know. But, <laughs> okay, I turn 50 next month on the 19th. Happy on birthday! September 19th. We're not there yet, but thank you. Um, but the so, hill? You know that hill? You're over it. Yeah, I'm way over it. <laughs> My grandmother does not think I'm old. She's 93. She turned 93 Well, of course yesterday. she's not going to think you're how old. Yeah. 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 Now, Cajuns live a long time. Thank you, Lord. I, I hope I do. <laughs> Cajun. um, my th- I'm Cajun. Yeah. yeah. Not, 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 not. Anyway. Um, <laughs> I did not come with the Cajuns. Yeah. 
But uh, so day. we may or may not have one on the 17th, depending on how vacation. wasted we get on the 16th for my birthday Ooh. party. Because I have to work on the 19th because it's a Wednesday. 8th, 18th, 17th. You still have 18th as the, and the 19th. Well, the 19th is Wednesday and I have to work. Because yeah, I'm going on vacation and I'm coming back from vacation. I can't. Too. Right, the next day to work on the 16th, which is when we're having the party. 16th. The next day, day to 16th. work will be the 19th. I can't take off the day I get, I'm just come back to work. Right, from right, vacation. right. But yeah, the 17th and then the 18th is your buffer day and then you go back to work on the 19th. Right, right, right. but may not be able to drink on the 16th and the 17th both. We'll see. Well, we'll, see. we'll play it by ear. We'll play it by ear. All right. Um, what Maybe that'll be one of our movie nights you're talking about. Oh, I yeah. told I told Sarah about it and she's super excited. She loves the idea of the movie night. Good, good, good. good. Yeah, we may do this um, like three out of four weeks of the month and skip a week. Yes. Uh, so I can, and we may, we may even want to share all the movies. Come in here and talk about do it. Do a and movie film. podcast. Right, right. One and, week and out of the month. Right, and it'll. Uh, It'll include his girlfriend when she's old enough. And she's 20, when did she turn 21? Soon. Soon, okay. She's, oh my gosh, she's a cute little thing, tiny. Very pretty. Um, very pretty. You're gonna have the cutest babies, you two. Um, <laughs> seriously. But, uh. Hopefully they'll look like her. <laughs> oh, no, no, you're good, you're good, you're handsome. Oh, man. Um, but anyway, so, we may end up doing it where we do, like, once a month, we do something where I show these these young pups. You have to educate us on cinema cinema masterpieces. Exactly. Because apparently we haven't seen them yet. We're too young, and you have to. There is so much to the scene. <laughs> and me being a cinephile. Cinephile. We did that one week where we cinema. had like a real short serial, and we did, had a real short podcast. You're like, you want to watch a movie? And right. I was and like, what did I show yeah, you? you? We watched that. Uh, comedic um, airplane? No, 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 no. Oh. It was a musical about uh, Rome, and they had oh, you know, a funny thing happened on the way to the forum. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, and we watched that. Awesome. It was a lot of fun. And we might go watch something tonight. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, that's the thing. I need to slowly but surely educate you on these movies you haven't seen. Cine- you have to educate us on the cinema, and, and we can drink more while we're doing mm-hmm. that. We'll so drink that's all good. So yeah. Um, anyway, so we might. <laughs> so that's our plans for the future. <laughs> Yeah, so these may be up slightly less frequently, but they will be up less frequently over the next month as I go on vacation. We'll still catch up to the regular watching group. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're still doing that. Um, tonight, wait, the DVD's in the other room, but see that hole right there? That's where we are. <laughs> and the regular watching group is at this hole right here. And obviously it's moving a lot more slowly. And uh, we will catch up to it slowly but surely. Um, and we didn't have any Doctor Who for the regular watching group this week. Huh. Uh, well, I had a church picnic. Church and, picnic, that's And like so that cut into the time. Where do so you go to church? Broadview Baptist Church. Oh, okay. Okay. If they ever see this, they may disown me. But, uh, <laughs> but no, it's a great church. Uh, it is. And anyway, that's where my wife and I were met. Is that the one that's right off the loop? No, it's on Frankfurt. Oh. Uh, Frankfurt, a little north of Elgin. Elgin? Yeah. Um, but my wife and I were married there. We still oh, attend there. That's awesome. I love the, the old pastor, Brother Ed. I, I really haven't gotten to know the new guy. But they uh, they keep cutting back services. Mm. So I haven't been able to go much lately. They used to have an evening service they don't need more. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Um, any more questions? Let me check. Yeah, because when you're wearing that as a hat, I know it's a good sign to end things. <laughs> And I go watch a movie. Just one last thing we're we're supposed to talk about. We've talked about before in previous episodes. The intro and outro of Doctor Who throughout every episode, you know, they don't really have film editing, so they just retake the intros and outros. Yeah, Yeah, so we 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 talk about the the not the random tear, but the sensorites. The sensorites, the sensphere, you had the alien, (laughs) you had his palms on the window and then and then later they retape the outro into the, the intro. The sphere was the planet. Yeah. The same thing happens between episode two and three, where they have the sink, and you have Doctor and Susan. They climbed up the drain pipe, and they're in the sink. And you have Barbara and Ian. They're on top of the sink, and mm-hmm. you have the drain. And then um, you know uh, Smithers comes in. He puts the drain in. He washes his hands. And on the outro of episode two, he takes the drain plug out and sets it on top of the sink. 
and he walks out, which wouldn't then, work. Which wouldn't work because in the next episode, episode three, they refilm the intro where he washes his hands, he takes the cork out, and he sets it in the sink, mm -hmm. and that allows Barbara and, and Ian to climb down the the drain chain into the sink. Right. <laughs> Right. And like we were talking about, you're not supposed to watch these episodes back to back because well, it, you're it, supposed to watch them week by week, and that way you forget. Right, <laughs> and just they, watch the recap as the right. Because there were no, I mean, in theory there were VCRs back then, but nobody had them. They were stupidly expensive. Really expensive. They, they were really, really high end cutting technology. Eight hundred dollars for a VCR. Right, which in the '60s is like five grand today. <laughs> um, and uh, nobody had them. Um, they were, and there was no such thing as home video, and and so so these little inconsistencies were simply, you know, brushed aside. You just swept under the rug. You just forget about yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> it's all good. It's okay, you know. But it's cool that they retaped that in the outro into the intro to where it was made possible because they must have been so doing the footage and yeah. be like, wait, that won't work because we need them to climb down the chain. So let's refill it to where. You and this time, you know, Smithers leave the drain <laughs> chain in, in the sink so they can pass awesome, out. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, um, okay, uh, I do want to show you, set, you and your girlfriend, several movies. Several like, movies. We have a stuff. list. Do we have a list? You have a list. Mental list, maybe. A mental maybe a list. Physical maybe we'll list. need to write it down. Right, right. Before you um, I showed you a funny thing happened the way the forum. Yes. Good movie. Have you seen it? It's a mad, 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 mad world. Yes. Okay, One of my good. favorites. Love that movie. I don't um, think Sarah's seen it. Have you seen the Blues Brothers? Mm-mm. Uh, <laughs> you've got to see the Blues Brothers. Got to see it. Have you seen Night Watch and Day Watch? Nope. Okay. Two movies. There's there there, two movies that are one book. Oh. You know, kind of like uh, Lord of the Rings. Part one, part two. Yeah, out of The Hobbit was three movies of a book. Yeah. War and Peace was four movies that was one book. <laughs> But Night Watch and Day Watch are the names of the first two books, but they're you know they're basically two movies that make the first book. Night yeah. Watch. Okay. They are utterly fantastic. Other things like Brazil, um, The Adventures of Baron Munchausen, Time Bandits. I've seen Time Bandits. Good, good. It's, I love Terry Gilliam. Oh, I hate that movie. Director. It's such a bad ending. <laughs> no, it's a great ending. It's a terrible ending. Okay. The microwave and his parents explode. No, no, they turn into hermit crabs because they touch pure evil. <laughs> um, pure evil. It's so sad. Have you ever seen Monty Python? Python? Yes, Monty Python and, and the Quest for the Holy Grail. Well, they but have, just him and they general. have like yeah. four or five films. Yeah, depending yeah, yeah. Whether or not you count, yeah. and now for something completely different. But they, uh, all their endings are weird. Yeah. They're not normal endings. Mm -hmm. And Terry Gilliam, the di my favorite director, was a director of Time Bandits. Mm -hmm. Was a member of Monty Python, the only American member. Although now he's British, he emigrated to the United United Kingdom. <laughs> uh, I don't think so. But um, he's European. Now. <laughs> he's yeah. He's he's he British now. Um, he emigrated. But usually it's the other way around. Well, yeah. He just he really fell in love with. Uh, he became an Anglophile and really, really fell in love with the UK. But um, all of his movies, as as in all the Pythonian movies, mm -hmm. have really weird endings. Um, except for his Hollywood sellout movie, uh, The Fisher King. <laughs> but. But um, have you seen uh, Monty Python's The Life of Brian? Nope. You gosh. Didn't Monty Python also have like a TV series or something? In the 60s, they had a TV show that was incredibly original, although slightly derivative of another TV show called Do Not Adjust Your Set, mm -hmm. which does not exist because the BBC wiped it. Yes, another, <laughs> like Doctor Who, another Swift victim of the BBC wipings. Oh, no. And in fact, um, in fact, uh, several Pythonians are very happy that it doesn't exist because otherwise their show wouldn't be viewed as so yeah, amazing and different. Right. Yeah. Right, I've but, seen a few episodes, I think, of the Monty Python right, TV and, series. Um, there, were several, there were a couple of Pythonians in that show, as well as people like... Leave the moth alone, unless you need it. But <laughs> including people like uh, Marty Freeman, the mm -hmm. guy with the, the the bug eye. Yeah. You know, like from Young Frankenstein. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Igor. Yeah. <laughs> Igor. Damn your eyes. Igor. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Um, he was also in the last remake of Bogast. Fantastically, wonderfully silly movie. 
And I think he was in yellow beard, which uh, several of the Pythonians were in yellow beard, um, including Graham Chapman, uh, may God rest his soul. He was the first Pythonian to die. Hmm. And uh, um, he, he suffered from alcoholism you know, oh. and other stuff, he, depression, things yeah. like that. Um, anyway, but all of their ending, all their movies have weird endings. And so Terry Gilliam has sort of kept that going where like time bandits, you know, he, he's left alone, you know, I mean, Sean Connery leaves the kid alone after his parents turn into hermit crabs because they touch pure evil. Yeah. And the kid's just standing there going, Mom, Dad? Uh, all the movies have weird endings, oh, and they're, but they're amazing. And I'll have to show you some of them, like uh, 12 Monkeys. I haven't seen that one. Brazil. I haven't seen that one. Adventures of Bear Munchausen. I haven't seen that one. The Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus. I haven't seen that one. <laughs> All right. Uh, we, this is Doctor Who. I'm with the theory, theory, but yeah. it's, and it's a mad, 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 world. mad world. Four mads. Five. Four. I thought it was five. Mad, 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 mad world. No, it's a mad, oh. mad, mad, mad world. I don't believe it. It's a mad, 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 mad. Well, what do you want to wager? I've got it in the Blu-ray. Man. <laughs> okay. All right. but, uh, okay. Anyway, have fun. We'll see you next. Thank week. you so much for joining us. And then, and then it'll be about a month break. It's a short hiatus. We'll come, come back. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. Yes, and I'll tell you all about our silly vacation when we get back. Yes. Yes. Thank you for joining us. All right. <laughs> <laughs> ba -ba 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 -ba. See, this is where we play the outro music. And we'll oh, we don't need those things. Fancy, fancy crap.